Did you know that the American Cancer Society predicts over 100,000 cases of colon cancer in the United States alone in 2023? It's quite alarming. And you know what's to blame for this rise in cancer cases? Our diet. Brace yourself because the World Health Organization has identified processed red meat as the chief culprit. Hold on tight because here's a shocking statistic. The Global Burden of Disease Project has found that a staggering 34,000 cancer-related deaths occur worldwide each year due to diets rich in processed meat. Now let's dive into the meaning of processed meat and unravel why it's causing such a problem. Processed meat refers to meat that has been transformed through salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve preservation. Most processed meats contain pork or beef, but processed meats may also contain other red meats, poultry, offal, or meat byproducts such as blood. The World Health Organization has classified processed meats, including ham, bacon, salami, and frankfurts, as a group 1 carcinogen, which means that there is strong evidence that processed meats cause cancer. Cooking at high temperatures or with the food in direct contact with a flame or a hot surface, as in barbecuing or pan frying, produces more of certain types of carcinogenic chemicals, such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic aromatic amines. To reduce your risk of cancer, Cancer Council recommends eating no more than one serve of lean red meat per day or two serves three to four times per week. Now let's discuss some practical tips for maintaining a healthier diet. Limit the consumption of processed red meat, such as sausages, hot dogs, bacon, and deli meats. Opt for lean protein sources like poultry, fish, and legumes instead. Incorporate more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains into your meals. These fiber-rich foods have been associated with a lower risk of colon cancer. When consuming red meat, opt for lean cuts and trim visible fat before cooking. Also, consider healthier cooking methods like grilling or baking instead of frying. Be mindful of food labels when shopping. Avoid products that contain added preservatives or high levels of sodium. So, that's all for today. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and share this video. And as always, stay tuned for more health-related content. Take care and stay healthy.